So guys, finally I get the box which actually fits to my desk. And yeah, so this box was sent from the company called Algo Laser. So in this video, I will open the box and I will see what I get. So actually, like you already know from the company name, Algo Laser, uh, you can note that here in this box is some laser. And the laser machine which I have here in this box is called Pixie. And then I will open the box. Okay, now this is the front view of this laser, which have this really awesome uh, and small enclosure, which I like really, really a lot. Here is the back. Before I will start with some engraving, I uh, will look into this uh, machine's software. So here we have this touch screen uh, and yeah, over here we have the projects. Uh, so the pixel laser already comes with some examples for engraving. Uh, I can also use this pen which comes with the machine. And like you see over here, we have some cute uh, examples for engraving. Then over here we have the SD card and also the USB disk. Uh, over here we have the settings for the laser. So we have 3 watts, 5 watts and of course 10 watts. Okay, uh, then uh, or here, uh, the algo type. Here you can uh, write some text if you want, and then this text you can engrave uh, on some wood, for example. So double click. Okay. So over here I can change the font if I want. And also the size. Okay. Next. Then over here we have more settings. Yeah, here we have all sorts of wood, acrylics, cardboards, and also paper. quality, class quality, medium quality, and so on. So, you get the idea of using this uh, algo type. Uh, so, actually, I think that 
this kind of uh, laser is um, the first one which came with this with this um, software which you can directly type in some text and then you can directly uh, engrave on some wood for example uh, which is actually really nice because in this case if you only want to engrave some text or something similar uh, then you don't need any computer uh, and this can be done all by uh, the machine itself um, then we have the control yeah so here we have uh, the controls here we can move the laser head then here we have the speed and so on and for the last we have this this is uh, I mean here we can make some sketch <laughs> really nice about uh, this we also have these settings so uh, wireless USB file transfer machine working mode safety features uh, detection okay Vibration detections, okay. Okay, ups. Try precision, lens. language blah, blah, and systems okay uh, this sound is quite annoying for this reason I will turn up oh. oh much better okay this was about the software and now I will set the machine for the first engraving so first of all I need to set the height of the laser and with this knob over here you can set the height really really easily see and for adjusting the right height of the laser you will need this little hammer so here i have my test wood which i will place here and then with this hammer i will set the right height of the laser so now i will turn the knob okay and actually that's it
Not bad. Really not bad. So guys, this was my first try of engraving something on the wood with this Algo laser pixie. So what I really really like by this laser is of course that the laser comes with this enclosure and the second thing which I also really like by this Algo laser pixie is of course the small size. So look how compact this laser is. So this laser will fit to any desk with no problem. Because I already have some laser which have the working area of 45 by 45 centimeters, but the laser also require more space. And because I don't have any free space for this large laser uh, on any of my desks, so for this reason, when I need to engrave or cut something, then I need to clean and prepare the desk, and then I need to set the entire laser for cut something smaller. So most of the time I need to engrave or cut something smaller, like this for example. So here I have some uh, gaskets for one of my cells. And yeah, so it takes a lot of time to prepare uh, the entire big laser for cutting some small gaskets. But with a laser, we have this really small format like this one, for example. This one will not take any uh, large space on my desk. And the laser also have enough working area for cut several of these gaskets, for example. So the working area of this pixel laser is 10 by 10 centimeters. And yeah, like I said, because of the small size of this laser, I can leave uh, the laser on my table without any problems. And now the laser specifications. So the company is of course the Algo laser and the model which I have is this Pixie uh, 10 watt laser, which means that the laser power is 10 watts and have the working area of 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters with the maximum working speed of 6000 millimeters per minute. The size of this laser is in dimensions of 26.4 centimeters by 21.4 centimeters and 19.5 centimeters. So really small and also really compact laser for your working table. And now I connect this cute pixelator to my laptop and I run the Lightburn uh, software. Uh, so actually the Lightburn software don't have any issues to recognize this laser. Um, so now the laser is connected to the laptop. Um, and now I will try to cut something. Because these gaskets which I have over here are made from some silicon rubber. For this reason I will try to use the same material uh, to cut. To see if the laser will be able to cut this uh, 0.5 millimeter silicon rubber. Okay. Uh, right now the power which I use is 100% and the speed is um, 10 millimeters per second and I will cut two times. Okay, and the laser is ready and now I will cut. And that's it. Yeah, definitely. Really nice. So I will repeat one more time. But this time I will cut only one time. Okay. Go.
Yeah. Really nice. So actually I think that I have my favorite toy for cutting some gaskets. Definitely. Okay, I will also try to cut this wood with the thickness of uh, 2.7 millimeters. Yeah. Uh, the power will be 100% and uh, the speed will be 10 millimeters per second and I will make let's say three takes okay uh, okay everything is set yo oh Really nice. Now we'll try one more time. But this time, instead of three takes, I will go with only two takes. Yeah, almost, almost. So for this thickness, which is 2.7 millimeters, uh, needs three takes on 100% uh, percent of power and 10 millimeters per second. So three takes and now I will cut again. Yeah, definitely. So in the case that you have some interest to buy some of these uh, lasers, then all the links will be in the video description. So the cost for the 10 watt pixel laser is $329. So guys, for now that's it and we see us in the next video. Bye.